Hello Sagittarius, welcome to your check-in. I was going to call it November check-in, but I'm going to just call it check-in. So we're going to see what wants to come through for you. And you let me know who I'm reading for in the, 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 the comments below. I would love to invite you, if you haven't already, to subscribe and join my community here on my channel if you like my readings. If you are looking for a private reading, that information is always in the description box of every video. Let's go ahead and see what wants to come through. I just did Scorpios and my goodness was it powerful. So if you have Scorpio in your chart or if you are dealing with a Scorpio, I encourage you to watch it. Oh my goodness, especially if you are looking for love. All right, so let's see what wants to come through for you, Sag. Take what fits, leave the rest. All right. I feel like you're ready for a new beginning. I feel like you've been waiting for a new beginning. You've been contemplating a new beginning, maybe planning a new beginning. I've got a lot of wands energy here, so you're coming out, you know, in your in your fire, but I feel like this energy is a little bit challenging, so I feel like you're, it's like you are, with this Nine of Wands, you've, you've come full circle in a situation, I feel like you've reached fulfillment where you're at, and you're making a decision, a very, very big decision to stand in your power and decide what it is that you want moving forward for your life, and you are taking no um, you're not taking no for an answer. You are moving forward and you're standing up passionately for that because you are so far more than ready for your new beginning because I feel like you've been going through one thing after another. You may have challenging people in your life. You may have had a lot of internal struggles, triggers and things that have been coming up over the past couple of months with the energies that we've been dealing with. There could be a lot of challenges in your circumstances surrounding you maybe in your home in your work or whatever and I feel like you it's like you're just done you're done you're ready for something new you're literally ready for something new <laughs> you may be even moving some of you will identify with that maybe you are changing careers going from one to the other whatever it is that you are thinking about doing you're being guided to do that so realize that you're being guided you're you're receiving some sort of inspired action to take a step in a new direction and uh, let's see what wants to come through what is this new direction let me put these in front of me over here I feel like you've been through a lot that is a lot of wands and I know you are a fire sign but that is a lot of wands you know and so I feel like you've just been dealing with it you've been You've been going through it, I should say. So you're ready for something new. You may be making decisions on what you want to do. You may be reevaluating all of that. You may be receiving divine inspiration. Not maybe, you are. You may be dealing with a little bit of fear that's keeping you stuck. Your mind may be telling you that maybe uh you want to step maybe it's time to step out of a comfort zone but your mind might be telling you a different story maybe your mind is is um, filled with fear i have you actually making a choice to go in a new direction though you're you're committing to a new path here so whether that is just a change in your thinking or whether that is an actual new path that you're committing to it literally could be anything because we're all going through different things and it's going to resonate differently with everybody so it could be you just I feel like this is uh, the beginning steps of a new going in a new direction committing to that making a decision and committing to that, whatever that looks like to you. So that could be literally changing jobs, that could be moving, that could be you just saying, I'm gonna be thinking differently now, I'm gonna clean up my mental diet, I'm gonna be thinking differently now, and I'm going to manifest a new life. Maybe you're changing some sort of behavior, maybe you are going on a diet, maybe you started an exercise routine, maybe you're just prioritizing sleep. 
see how it can literally be something different for each of us and I feel like it's just the beginning but it, I, I feel like you are you're making some sort of choice and you're committing to that choice because you're ready you are way past ready for something new as I say that look at what came out you are way past due and you're way past ready for something new love my queen of swords you are calling back your power you're standing in your power and you're making different choices you are ready and you are not taking no for an answer and anyone who tells you no you're not afraid to use your sword and cut them out <laughs> this new path that you're going on is going to grow quickly and it's gonna grow into great abundance. This is the golden opportunity. You may not even realize, I feel like it's this, you're being guided to make some sort of change, so whether it feels that way or not, whether you realize that or not. You may have been sitting on this for a while and, and just kind of waiting for the right time or waiting for yourself to, to be ready. But <clears throat> the universe is actually guiding this whole process because you are no longer satisfied with where you're at. You're just beyond done, Sag. You're ready. Nothing's satisfying you anymore where you're at. And so it's time for you to go in a new direction. So you say, I'm standing up, I'm making a decision, and I'm not taking no for an answer. And the universe matches that decision. You should watch my latest who am I reading for reading because that might really mes resonate with you because it really feels kind of like the same energy or maybe this is an extension of that reading or maybe that reading is an extension of this reading depending on when you watch it but I feel like you're just you're done and you're right to say that you're done with what whatever this is could be a job that is maybe toxic or you've reached the end of your journey there it could be anything really could even it could be some sort of comfort zone I'm feeling like a comfort zone like you needed to kind of gather your strength in order to and your courage in order to let go of whatever this is and you're probably in the energy of making that decision but you're right to question it you're right to look forward you're right to move forward you're right to whatever it is that you're feeling of that step that you want to take you're right to take it so if that helps you because I see two sevens here, and when two sevens come out in a reading, it means that you're right to question something, So, or you should be questioning something. So depending on how you're resonating with this reading, maybe you it's going to be a confirmation to your intuition. You already know. You already know what I'm talking about. <laughs> this is a confirmation, okay? You've been sitting on it for a while, but you know that you've tried your best. You have, I feel like you came to the end of whatever this is a little while ago. And so, but you are not one to let go. You want, you're loyal and you want to give it your best. So you stayed and you're just like, okay, I've done literally every single thing and it is, there's nothing else I can do. So you are moving on and what is happening is this moving on is literally guided. You thought you came up with it all by yourself, Sag, but you didn't. And it's leading you to your happiness. It's leading you to your 1111. It's leading you to victory at the end of this race that you've been running, a lot of celebration, a lot of happiness and excitement and gratitude, having gratitude that everything is so much better than it was gratitude for the divine for aligning everything just perfectly for you but also gratitude towards yourself for making this step it's taking you to that finish line and the finish line is literally not a finish line it's like the beginning it's a start line but the 11 11 may be very significant to you because that is coming up let's see if we can get some more information here what does Sag need to know about this situation here? What is what is unfolding for you? What direction are you going in? 
you are literally going in a new direction. Look at that. I feel like this direction, this new direction is just you stepping into your power and you're just like saying no to things that really, you just don't feel good in anymore. And this is you coming out of your cocoon in as your butterfly. This is your butterfly season, Satch. This is your butterfly season. Wow. You're following your inspiration. You're following your passion. You're following your creativity. The wands are that connection to the universe. I feel like you, you, for some of you, this may be a direction financially. I was just going to say, and look what came out. Financially, I feel like you're, you're following your intuition or you're starting something new, like a new career, a new job, going in some sort of new direction. Maybe you are creating a hobby that is going to be a new income stream for you. Whatever you your hands touch, learn know that whatever your hands touch turns to gold. And you're extremely good at something and you're going to make a lot of money with that. So if this is having to do with anything that this reading, if it's resonating with this reading as it's something with your money that you are going to, that you're making a decision on and you're moving forward with, it is seriously blessed. It is seriously blessed. Lots of money in this, these cards. And this is the money queen. You started out as the page. And she grows into the queen. So just that first step, that first commitment to this new life or this new way of being or whatever this is for you, it quickly grows into the queen energy. There's a lot of success here. Why did you sit on this so long? I feel like you sat on this for a long time. But, you know, you had to become ready and now is the time. And it's opening doors for you that you don't even know are there yet. Opening doors of opportunities for you to experience life in a big way. Very exciting. And it's also leading you to love if you're looking for love. We've got a love night coming in. This is a night that's coming in to sweep you off your feet. So if you are looking for love, that's here too. Your new beginning. You're manifesting your new beginning. You're manifesting your success. Whatever that is. The choice that you're making now is taking you to the success that you want that you have been asking for. That four of wands can mean anything. Victory in any area. It is a marriage. It is a happy, stable relationship. It, it's, it's happiness and bliss. It's celebration energy and gratitude. You're literally creating your future. This decision that you're making and moving on, moving forward with, is creating success in all areas of your life. You have some new communication associated with this card too, and, I, and I've got this knight here. So if you are, you know, you may be receiving a phone call from someone who wants to sweep you off your feet, <laughs> and that may be what you're manifesting. But I, I feel like for many of you, this is a this is a uh, an income situation, and you're you're attracting in something really big here by this decision that you're making. I feel like you're, some of you are attracting it to you. I mean, all of you are attracting in new doors and opportunities, but this decision that you're making, I feel like it's coming from you. You're making the decision to change something in your life that is leading you towards success, abundance, love, prosperity, happiness, Whatever this is, go for it and don't hold back. This is powerful energy and you are being blessed for it. So I hope that you enjoyed this reading. Take a look at all of your placements in this series so that you can get a full picture of your update. And uh, wow, keep me posted and let me know who I'm reading for, but also let me know what happens for you. And what decision are you making? You know I want to know. I love you guys. See you in the next reading.